Uh, yeah, let's uh, move on. Uh, Apple and Google to hand over guns. No, I want to talk about VR. Day. Okay. Yeah, we, we did, we did the title topic. I don't care Yeah, anymore. we did the title We're topic. Yeah. So, like... It's cool again. It's kind of cool again. Yeah. Um, I'm getting back into it, too. I think taking a break was the right idea. And then now I'm genuinely re-excited about things. Because a bunch of really interesting stuff has happened. So, Index is a legit second gen experience. Vive Pro yes. was not. I was no. really upset about Vive Pro because yeah. it was Vive like Pro is lame. everything I didn't ask for and nothing that I did ask for. Okay, one thing I asked for. Okay, the the screen resolution was better. But Vive Pro by by HTC's own admission was Vive but professional. It was not Vive 2. And I wanted an upgrade. Like when did the HTC Vive come out? Let's just check this. 2016. You're right. Heck yeah. Wow, I'm awesome. I thought it was so long ago, but I'm thinking, I think, Crystal Cove. Dev kits went out in August and September of 2015. Um, mm. But, like, that's still a long time ago. Yeah. That's, like, three years ago. So when the Vive Pro came out, like, I, I, was, I was expecting VR to be like this rapidly iterating technology because around that time, that was in the midst of the mobile display pixel density race, right? Like that was when, you know, Sony was shipping a 4K phone. And I was like, we're, we're, screens, they're, they're, they're gonna get super dense and, and, and OLED technology. It's gonna be super low persistence and like, it's gonna be, it's gonna be flipping awesome. And then it just stopped. In 2017, I guessed five years. For what? For VR to like really be popping. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, they they crossed the one percent threshold for install base in the Steam hardware survey. Not bad. Heck yeah. Uh, yeah. Working on it. Um, and more importantly, some of the technologies that I did not have a lot of faith in are starting to show promise. So, have you tried the Oculus Quest? No, but I've read a lot about it. I haven't tried it myself. And I've talked to a guy that uses it basically all the time. Okay, it's only 72 hertz or whatever. Do you know the picture of the guy and his son standing by their Tesla at a Tesla charging station and they're both playing the Quest? It went trending not that long ago. No, I didn't see that. Oh, I like hung out with him for a while. Okay. He's actually really cool. He actually lives locally. All right. <laughs> but the, yeah, anyways. So the Quest, it's only 72 hertz. It's running on like Snapdragon 835 or whatever. Like it's not even, is it 835? Oculus, Quest, Snap, Dragon, is it 845? It's not 855, that's for sure. Uh, oh, no, 835, yeah, 835. Um, so it's like, it's like ancient technology and mobile, ugh. Um, but depending on the type of game, not everything is a great experience, but depending on the type of game, it is shockingly good. And not having the the weight of the uh, and the inconvenience of the tether. The tether, yeah. Like it is so much better than the mobile-based VR experiences that I had had in the past. Which, it's just garbage. That I was blown away. Like the tracking is so good. And after my experience with, I'm, I'm saying a lot of the things that I'm going to repeat in my upcoming review of the Rift S, as well as the upcoming uh, video Which I about the Quest. Which believe is on Floatplane. I'm sorry? I think it's on Floatplane, right? Uh, the Quest, Rift yes. S. Quest, okay. Rift S, I have not actually shot, but I have fully written. I finished okay. writing it last night. Um, so yeah, there's, there's a plug for Floatplane. If you subscribe on Floatplane, yeah. it's like week-ish, early access and occasional uh, exclusive content. We're not trying to oversell it. It's a way to support Linus Tech Tips. The Meet the Team videos are pretty cool. Um, so the tracking on it, the, 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 the freedom of being able to like wander around in a gigantic play space uh, compared to what I'm used to. Because, I mean, theoretically on my index, yeah, I could have like a 15 by 15 play space or whatever the stupid like maximum size is. Yeah. It's ridiculous. I With what be... tether? Yeah. With what, what oh, like yeah. powered active display port repeaters every five meters? Like, what? It's not even <laughs> like it's not even a real conversation. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because wireless isn't feasible for it yet. The the resolution and refresh rate are just too high. It's too much bandwidth until we get another revision of 60, 60 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Um, 
so it was just kind of surreal. And playing something like Beat Saber, which I always come back to because it's casual enough that it runs on mobile hardware, but it's hardcore enough in that it is like a, a genuinely skill requiring yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, um, Solo competitive. It's and it's very sensitive to. Uh, uh, to errors in tracking for the controllers or for latency issues, uh, like playing, it, it, it's great. It's great for certain experiences. That's cool. And after my experience with Windows Mixed Reality, right? That's where I was going with that. I had no faith in inside out tracking. Mm. I thought it was dead on arrival. I was like, they will not fix the occlusion issues. Uh, they will not fix the drift. Really? We're done here. I'm so okay. I was very pessimistic. I wasn't. Okay, well then you were you. smarter than me. Good for you. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> I'm just I didn't I haven't heard you say that before. That's why I'm surprised. I thought outside in was always going to be the premium experience. It is though still. But Rift S, have you tried it? Uh, okay, Te okay, still no. But there was one at PAX that my brother tried, and there was clear and obvious issues with it. Okay, but was that at PAX? No, it was because of the headset. Because okay. there are areas where it doesn't okay. track well. You should come over and try it. Sure. Or just take it home. It's in my office. It has to come back on Monday because I'm shooting that video on Monday. I, there's like no room in my house. There's like no point. Okay. Well, the thing about the Rift S, though, is that it doesn't need room. You just put it on. Yeah, okay. I can, but there's I mean, no I lighthouses. Could, there's I no setup. I could test the... If I, I wonder if I could get them to send me the build of the game. But there's, there's a football game. Okay. And the whole idea, it was, it was sevens football, so it's yeah. passing only and all this kind of stuff. I don't remember the name of it. I'm sorry if you're watching this. Um, but they were at PAX. They're releasing the game relatively soon, I think. But So you're the quarterback. You have to throw yeah. the ball. Okay. And the only way they're oh, able to run it yeah, okay. is because you go here and you can yeah, throw it. So that... the whole time I was like, why did you guys bring this headset? Like, what? This is so dumb. Because you watch everyone play this football game, and they're like, yeah, it tracks properly if you throw the ball properly. We have it modded right now, so you can go beep. I'm like, that's so dumb. Okay. There are games uh, that have issues. I will give you that. Yeah. Um, none of the things I play regularly no, require I know, me to put my so hand behind my the, head. The only thing I'm saying is you said, okay. I, I thought uh, the, the other version of tracking would always but be better. I'm I, like, well, yeah. I think that's probably solvable because, because the thing, too, is that the Rift S and the Quest get a lot of their location data from the accelerometer and, gy uh, and gyroscope in the controller. I don't think it's unsolvable. So it's it's solvable, and then what it's doing is it's using the constellation map uh, from the headset to the controllers yeah. to correct. Yeah. So as long as you are only occluded for a short period of time, theoretically, it should be fine. And in my experience using it in my living room, it was very good. I did get some glitchiness like when I'd first put it on. Um, but then it would kind of settle in and I couldn't, I couldn't tell. In fact, Hollow Ball is a game that I have kind of used as my benchmark for um, tracking. controller tracking. Yeah. Because I, as a badminton player, I tend to, I tend to flick my wrist mm. rather than swing my arm okay. when I'm trying to hit a ball. Yeah. Um, and that game is obviously designed around a tennis swing, uh, an arm swing, because otherwise it is utterly hopeless at tracking where your hand is. It's too fast. <coughs> right. And so I like I can swing right through the ball. I can watch the paddle go through. Like it just doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and what I found was on the Rift S, I was way more likely to hit the ball. Like worlds more likely. And Oculus claims, or I should say Facebook at this point, their last founding member was out as of I think like a couple weeks ago. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, so Facebook claims that they are updating their location with one millisecond granularity. Now, it's not a perfect update because if you the can see the racket go through the ball, I'm suspecting this is a collision issue and not a tracking issue. Could be. If but you see the racket go through the ball. Okay, I should clarify. I see where the racket is. Okay. I see that I followed through okay. and I see that the ball went through where I was okay. going. So, okay. no. It's not like I see the models. Yeah, 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 no. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, but so on the so anyway, so it's every it's 30 times a second with the camera. So that's where it's checking for drift. Yeah. And then it's apparently, I have no way of validating it, but apparently millisecond granularity from the gyroscope yeah. and accelerometer seems each controller. Um, and I did find that it was better. That's cool. But they dropped it to 80 hertz. Mm. Yeah. And like, I, you were there. The, the second I put the index on, 
holy crap. It's so it's so much better. Intensely noticeable. The, the the resolution, the refresh rate, everything. It's it's amazing. Even the the like safe zones. Yeah. I have a really hard problem with headsets where if they're not tilted and not tilted to the exact specification and exactly far enough away, then they look like they look terrible to me. Right. It's probably because my eyes suck, but whatever. And then the index, it didn't really matter. Yeah. I threw it on and while it was coming on, I was like, everything's perfect. And then I sit it down, I'm like, everything's still perfect. But it's a thousand dollars. But yeah, it's a thousand dollars. Anyway, all of this is why I'm really excited about what's happening right now, because we finally have a real upgrade at the high end with yeah. the index. Yeah. Um so and if a, you're and a good solid solution that isn't there. Yes. Because um, I've always kind of detested, I remember I m made a big part in a video about this a long time ago, um, about how I was kind of annoyed with all these different phone companies and stuff advertising mobile VR. So I was like, now everyone's going to think this is what VR is. Yeah. And that was really frustrating. But hopefully we're leaving that era where VR is just good.